ON14, P43, question 11. Mm, why they ask this question again? Reference to alpha sh- ultrasound states what state what is meant by specific acoustic impedance of a medium. <sighs> they, keep say- they keep asking this thing. Z equals to density times C. Therefore, you can say Z, which is the specific acoustic impedance, is going to be the product, so rho and C multiplied, product of the medium density, that's rho. And what is C? This is wave speed, not the speed of light. Ah. So we can say, and the speed of wave, where? Through a medium. So better mention that as well. Sometimes they want you to talk about that as an extra point. So through a medium, the same medium with a certain density. That is two marks. This one is an A1 and M1 mark. So M1, if you talk about a product of what you call this, density and speed. And the second mark is you talk about through the medium. I don't know how to write out the marking, but just so you know, in this particular example, this is how they give the mark. Every year is a bit different, but the answer is still the same. But how they assign the mark is a bit different. Let's look at this interesting one. Hmm, parallel beam of ultrasound incident normally on a muscle and bone. Oh, this is a two-layer question. Got a big brain time. The ultrasound wave is reflected at the muscle bone boundary. So here you're going to have a reflection. And some data is given. Specific acoustic impedance is our Z. Linear absorption coefficient is our mu. So this Z is going to be applied for calculations at the boundary when there are reflected waves. Mu is going to be calculated uh, in mediums when there is attenuation of the wave. So attenuation in medium. The other one is at the boundary. Okay, so there are two different equations they're going to use in this example. What is the first thing they want us to do? Uh Aha, they give us the equation. The intensity for two media having specific acoustic impedance is given by this. Calculate the fraction reflected. So you can pay close attention to this. Fraction of intensity reflected where? At the muscle bone boundary. Where's the muscle bone boundary? Oh, down here. This boundary. So you've got some wave will come in and some wave will get reflected back. So that's what we're going to find in this example here. Okay, first part. Okay, okay. Let's, let's, let's draw it out. Why not? So here's our muscle bone diagram. We're going to look at just what happens to the wave when it hits this boundary. Uh, some portion will go through like that, transmitted, but some will get reflected back. So what is the amount reflected? So we only care, we don't care about the transmitted now, we just want to look at what happens to the reflected wave. So I'm going to draw it a little clearer. That goes in, something reflects back. Ah, this is IR, and this is going to be I. So let's find that with our equation given to us. Here. Okay, we need to know that A equals to this whole thing, which is also equals to IR over I, the reflected over the incident wave intensity. So I'm going to say IR over I. That's a fraction, right? That's what they want us to find. Fraction of reflected. Okay, that's pretty good. Equals to, now we've got to plug in values into the ZZZ equation. So Z1 minus Z2, Z1 plus Z2, let's just plug it in. 1.7 times 10 to the 6. Minus, so we're finding the difference between the acoustic impedance. So 10 to the 6. Oh, very big, oh. Okay. Divide by the sum of both of them. So 1.7 times 10 to the 6 plus 6.4 times 10 to the 6 square. Pretty good. Press calculator, you should get about 0 0.3367 as your ratio, your alpha. Okay, this is the ratio alpha or IR over I. And this is for the boundary at bone and muscle. How much wave will be reflected? So the fraction here, I can do 2SF lah. Okay lah, 0 0.34. Since everything else is also in 2SF. So that's one for the final answer, one for the substitution. Just sub in, can read it. So this is an important thing to tell me. Oh. Whatever wave that come in, such as I, you reflect back, oh, this will be about... 0 0.34 of I will be reflected back. In other words, 
this can also can be said as uh, 34% will be reflected. That's what this number tells me. Lah. When you hit a boundary, 34% will bounce back. The rest can go through. This will be useful when we come to the next part. Okay, let's continue to part two. So that is for muscle bone boundary. Now, calculate the fraction of ultrasound intensity that is transmitted. Ooh, it's asking about a different thing now. Transmitted through a thickness. So what's the difference just now? Look very carefully. Just now they asked you intensity reflected. Now you're talking about intensity transmitted. So up there, you're talking about the reflection coefficient, which is this alpha. Down here, you're talking about transmission, which is talking about attenuation. So you got to remember your attenuation equation. This is talking or referring to attenuation and absorption of the wave as it transmits through a certain medium. So let's do that. Transmit through what? 3.4 cm of muscle. Let me just draw the muscle. Let's say the muscle looks like this. On one end, I have coming in, uh, don't know what, uh, call this I. Lah. Okay, and then after it travels through a certain distance, I'm going to call this 3.4 cm of muscle from here until here. Then I will come out with some intensity I. Um, let's call this I0. I0. By the way, I0. Not, not is N A U G H T. Not, like naughty, very naughty, I not. Okay, so we're going to do a calculation. What is the equation for attenuation? I equals to I not, not, E negative mu x. We want to find a fraction, right? So fraction transmitted, that will be I over I not equals to E negative mu x. Hmm. How do we find the fraction? Oh, oh, I have a clue. I have a clue. Transmitted through muscle and 3.4 cm of muscle. So I can go check out what is the mu for muscle. Give me a second. Phew, let's fly over here. Mu for muscle. There we go. This is in meter negative one. So, okay. 23 meter negative one. That is our absorption coefficient for muscle. Let's go and plug it in then. So here will be e to the power of negative 23. Oh, what's the unit? Ah? Right here, just in case. Meter, negative 1. Okay, x. How far did the wave travel in this muscle? 3.4 cm. Okay, so we write 3.4. Eh, but be careful. This one is in meter, so you should also convert cm to meter. Because, you know, you want it to cancel out, right? Mu, mu. M and M negative 1 cancel out. So make sure they are the same unit. Your mu and your x. Be very careful. A lot of students make a mistake here and then get some weird value. So your, your fraction or your ratio you get here will be 0 0.4575. Um, the fraction, I could stick to 2SF, looks like. Okay, so I'm going to stick to 2SF here. So 0 0.46. Three marks for this. Woo! First is final mark. You substitute correctly. That's C1. And you got this equation that you remember. That's C1. Make sure you remember how to write the attenuation equation. Okay, so what does 0 0.46 mean? It means, if you look at the diagram on the left, you have I0 coming in. It passes through this thickness and it's at some intensity, and we know that this intensity is going to be, make a note here, 0 0.46 I0. Or you could say 46% of the original I0 after passing through a medium attenuation. This is what the fraction means, okay? Fraction down here, fraction up there. Make sure you know how to, what the number means. Don't just calculate, calculate. Then later you don't know how to do. Okay, the last part. This one perhaps is the most challenging one. <laughs> Use your answers in 1 and 2, so these two fractions, to determine the ratio IR over I. What is IR over I? Let's go look at it. IR over I. Oh, oh, oh. So you're going to have lots of interesting things happening here. You have your muscle 
I'm going to colour this pink because we're used to that. And bone, which is grey colour-ish, already there. Okay lah, i make it darker a bit so you can see. Bone, there we go. So you have transmitted. At that place, you're going to have some reflected. Oh, I think you transmit some more. Wow, how do I find this reflected intensity? This one, IR, that comes out here. There's a two-layer problem happening here. So we need to redraw this again in our question and look at it very carefully. How do we find IR and I with all this fraction, fraction over here? Okay, give me a second. I'm going to redraw this right now. So here's the diagram. According to what the terms they use, the incident intensity, they use the alphabet I. So I is going into the muscle. Okay, now as this wave goes through the muscle, will it lose energy? Yes, it will. Attenuation. So as it goes through, what will be the, uh, what you call this, the intensity at the boundary of muscle bone? After you lose, how much do you lose? Ah? What was the percentage? Oh, we just found it, right? Oh, 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 hang on a second. We know this one. This one is 3.4 cm. So after you travel 3.4 cm in muscle, you would have lose a certain uh, percentage. What is that one here? Ah, this one. You come in, any intensity, you will lose 46% as you go through 3.4 cm. So that's 0 0.46 of the original right here. 0 0.46 of the original that came in. So we're going to apply that ratio here now. And we say, okay, you have traveled this distance in bone. That means now your... Your, 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 your intensity at the boundary, the muscle bone boundary, is going to be 0 0.46 times the original. 0 0.46 times I. And then you can continue going. Lah, but we don't care about that one. We want to look at the reflection, IR. So once you hit the muscle bone boundary, there will be a reflection. I'm going to put this right uh, here. Okay. At this boundary, there will be some kind of reflected wave going to travel back. So, what is this reflected amount? Mm, how will we do? How do we find that? Okay, we go back to the top part. At a muscle bone boundary, let's look at this here. Wait, wrong marker. Zero point three four will be reflected. So no matter what intensity you come in, once you hit the boundary, 0 0.34 of the original will go back. In other words, 34% will reflect back. Oh, so whatever intensity you come in, 34% reflect back. Okay, okay. Let's go and uh, put that idea together down there. So 0 0.34 is a fraction. Huh? So once you reflect back, this will be 0 0.34 of whatever was incoming. So what is the incoming? This one. 0 0.46 times I. Ah yeah, wrong color, I. Okay, so 0 0.46 come in, hit the boundary. 0 0.34 of that one will reflect back. Okay, so then this one will slowly go, 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 and then finally go back here. Yeah, this is your reflected intensity. Eh, hang on a second. Just now, when your wave travel through the muscle, got attenuation energy loss. Now you're traveling through the muscle, you also have attenuation. Energy loss. So what is the attenuation factor? Let's go back to the top part. Whenever you travel through a 3.4 cm of muscle, you will kind of lose a bit and only have 46% left. So just now you're moving to the right. Now you're moving to the left, same thing can apply this way. If this is your eye, this is your eye knot, you still will kind of lose out about 60, 50 plus percent. So that's the same thing. Attenuation is happening for your reflected wave as well. So this one also got attenuation. So this one, the end of the day, when you finally reach IR, how are we going to write this attenuation? Let's use purple. So attenuation. Attenuation. Happening for your reflected wave also. So we are going to say... Attenuation is 0 0.46 for this amount of muscle. Okay, so we're going to write that. 
Ah, oh, I'm gonna write this here. No space already. 0 0.46 times this whole thing. Because that was the original wave going through the muscle and come out at the other end. So 0 0.46 times... I'm not gonna write this. 0 0.34 times 0 0.46i. Okay. So end of the day... Oh, this is such a... I don't know a better way to describe this. I have to draw everything out. IR over I. Okay, let's, let's look at the, the whole thing. The reflected wave <laughs> is the one that's very colourful. So you have attenuation. Whenever you see 0 0.46, that is an energy loss due to attenuation when you're travelling through a medium. Absorption, sorry. Uh, energy loss due to absorption. 0 0.46 times... Now the 0 0.34 is the reflection due to reflection at any boundary. And then you have another attenuation, the first round for your transmitted wave. Then finally, times i, which is what you came in with in the first place. This i on the left side. Ooh, look at that. Uh, incident wave is just i, so I'm just going to keep that as i. So i and i cancel out. What you have left is 0 0.46, 0 0.34, and 0 0.46 again. So this one will be 0 0.07194. I guess I'll stick to 2SF since everything is in 2SF. So this will be 0 0.072. <laughs> After you go in, go bunch through a whole layer and come back out, that's your reflected wave. Then you have a ratio of 0 0.072. All right, pretty small though. Okay, sure. Two marks. This is A1. This is C1. If you sub in all the correct values. Now to recap this one, I know this one is like, you will need to sit down and brain this until it makes sense to you. Redraw this 10 times, stare at it until it makes sense to, to you. Because these are what we call level two, level three questions. Once in a while, they'll come out in past years. But it's only two marks, unless you don't care about these two marks. Lah. But when they come out, you need to know that you need to multiply together all the different, different ratios. So I'm going to rewrite a little bit what these ratios are. 0 0.46 is due to... Well, energy loss due to attenuation. No, I'm just going to write absorption. That's a better way. Absorption of reflected... So you're on the way back, you also experience attenuation due to absorption. 0 0.34 is energy loss due to reflection at a boundary, at the bone muscle boundary. And the first one, 0 0.46, this is due, this is the uh, energy loss due to absorption of your transmitted wave, the, the very first one, transmitted wave okay so all three of them are at different stages in the whole process just know that the wave come in bing bang bong bong hit the boundary bounce back and your computer will do use all this information how long it take for all this to come back and what's the intensity to go and recreate a picture of your ultrasound Okay, so that is all for this question. A pretty tricky one. There's one more right after this. So go check out the example as well. It's also a two-layer, multiple boundary kind of question. So go try out that one. But that's all for this video. I will see you in the next example video.